Hey yo, what's going on everybody? SOS Wrestle Talk back at y'all once again for more New Japan Pro Wrestling coverage. We got New Japan Pro Wrestling Wrestling Dantaku. It just took place this morning. We had all sorts of happenings, man. We got returns of wrestlers. We have title changes here. This show, I believe, I, I, it was a sellout. We had 4,489 people in the Fukuoka International Center. Of course, we have Sonata attempting to make his first defense of the IWGP World Heavyweight Championship right here. So we uh, there was also tales of the guy coming soon. The New Japan wrestler is going to be coming soon as well. So without any further ado, we might as well get into the show. So first match we had on the show, I believe it was a kickoff Young Lion match here. The kickoff was Oscar Lube. He beat Bolton Oleg, Yuto Nakashima, and Roy Oya. He made Oya submit with the Boston Crab in about two and a half minutes here. This is a solid Young Lion opener. Uh, it was what it was. Take that for a grain of salt. But I enjoyed it. So moving on up the card, the next match we had on this show, we had, I believe this is the opening match, pretty much the opening match right here. We had match number one. Uh, we had Yo, Toriyano, Yoshihashi, Hiroki Goto taking on the team of House of Tortures, Dick Togo, Sho, Yudro Takahashi, not Yudro, yeah, Yudro Takahashi, and Evil. So this match pretty much went how I thought it would go. This was quick, fast, and in a hurry. It didn't overstay its welcome. It didn't stay too long for the House of Torture to shenanigans to begin. So I enjoyed that right here. And you want to keep the team who potentially will be challenging for those tag team belts. You want to keep them in the limelight. Even though guys like Yujiro and Evil will be challenging for them, they didn't take the pinfall right here. I think it's probably best, suit, best better served to give the former champions the dub, and that's what they did right here. Moving on up the card, we had TMDK, that being Shane Haste. Mikey Nichols, Kose Fujita, taking on the team of Mark Davis, Kyle Fletcher, otherwise known as Aussie Open, and the Great Okan, forming the United Empire trio right here. The United Empire, they actually pick up the victory at about five and a half minutes via the Sheep Killer from Great Okan on the Kose Fujita. So Fujita's been pretty much testing the fence of Great Okan lately. So that's pretty interesting. Great Okan's been, of course, brandishing the uh, not, uh, the British heavyweight championship for Rev Pro. He's been, you know, running with that around. So that's a good look on him. So they, like I said, they had a lot of exchanges, did Fujita and Great Okan. Ultimately, Great Okan was the one to put the match away for his team. Next match we had, we had the Intergalactic Jet Setters, that being Kevin Knight and Kushida teaming with Shota Mino to take on the United Empire's Aaron Hanare. Francesca, Francesco Akira and TJP right here. So I think I got this one wrong. The team of the International Jet Setters and Shota Mino got the victory. Kushida got the small package roll up on TJP. This is a nice, solid, fast match. I don't think it overstayed its welcome because I don't think it had enough time to. Uh, I understand why this went barely seven minutes because of the later, you know, that we have title heavy matches later in the show. So I definitely understand that. I just maybe would have liked to see more. I thought it was okay. You can almost look at this as the uh, best of the Super Junior Showcase, which uh, that's how I viewed it. So moving on to the fourth match in the card, we have another trios championship. Not a trios, but another trios match right here. We have Los Ingobernables de Japones, Bushi, Shingo Takagi, Tetsuya Naito taking on Taichi, Doki, and Yoshinobu Kanemaru right here. We got Taichi tapping out Bushi in about a little over seven minutes right here with the set say you hero. Yeah, and great. Look, just five guys is looking really fucking good. And it looks like LIJs is kind of just getting the L side of things lately. So will they be able to recover, man? That's just going to be something that I will keep my eyes on. So will LIJ recover? Will they? Well, we got, we got you drove, not you drove, we got Romo in the main event challenge for the World Heavyweight Championship belt. So will he be able to recover off of that? We're definitely going to see. We'll definitely keep our eyes on that. Moving on forward into the future right here our next match we had this is our first title match of the show we have for the strong never new japan strong open weight championship right here we get hikaleo defeating kenta kenta attempted to make his third fence he hits him with god sins uh, this is a big feather in the cap for hikaleo getting his first singles title in new japan i thought the match was okay i maybe thought we'd get a little bit longer but i see why we didn't this match went a little subpar 10 minutes right here and you get Kenta putting over Hikaleo right here. Hikaleo becoming the uh, new New Japan Strong Openweight Champion. Where will we take that butt from here? I'll keep my eyes on it because I, I didn't really expect him to win. So, but I'll, maybe that's just me just being this silly. Maybe I should have expected him to win that match right here. But they also 
they announced the blocks for the best of the super juniors and the dates of said shows coming up during kind of like the intermission type situation but um yeah, this was okay. I thought this was a solid match, but next match fucking fucked, and that was for the New Japan World, New NJPW World Television Championship. We had Zack Sabre Jr. attempting to defend his belt against the United Empire's Jeff Cobb right here. This match went to a tie on the draw. This was what I thought it was right here. Like I said, this match fucking fucked. This was, I mean, it was outstanding, and a rematch would not be unsurprising. Maybe we get a rematch with a 30-limit time limit. Maybe we get a rematch coming up with no time limit, so... Then our next match, next title match on the card here, we have for the Never Open Weight Six Man Tag Team Titles, we have Kazuchika Okada, Tomohiro Ishii, and Hiroshi Tanahashi taking on and defeating Strong Style, El Desperado, Minoru Suzuki, and Ren Narita right here. So talking about things that fucked this match, absolutely fucked, and this is probably a candidate once again for match of the year coming up here in New Japan Pro Wrestling. So, oh my gosh, this was this, oh man, this, Raymaker put Narita, Ray in this, Narita away in this match. And after the match, we get Shota Mino walking to the ring. He said John Moxley will be returning from, to Japan at Dominion, and he wants a six-man tag, tag, or a six-man tag team title match, what I'm presuming will be Amino, Moxley, and a partner of their choosing, taking on Okada, Tanahashi, and Tomohiro Ishii. Post match, or not post match, but after that, you know, as he dropped the mic, did uh, Amino Okada gets on the mic, he cuts a promo, then he just pretty much just says "fuck you," Shota, and I thought that was <laughs> damn near the highlight of the night. I thought that was incredible. So, uh, yeah. So then, then, then on the semi main we have right here, we have, I believe this is semi main. I could be wrong. Yeah, it's semi main. The never open weight championship. We got David Finley taking on defeating Tama Tonga right here. I knew this was probably going to be the result. He gets the victory. I believe it was via uh, the was it the the into oblivion is what he's calling it now. He got the victory. He's a new never open weight champion. They actually put Tama Tong on a stretcher. So it looks like Tama Tong is going to be out for the foreseeable future. But that's not the crux of this. I thought match was okay. Crux of this match, the most important part of this match. We had a returning surging wrestler. We had a returning El Fantasmo to come down, issue the challenge to David Finley, beat his ass pretty much, and beat up. You know, he... We have we have babyface ELP amongst us, and that's a great sight to behold, man. I'm I'm totally down with that. So, then in the main event, we have once again, and you got if you're asking me, we got this is probably one of the match of the year contenders. Again, I hate to keep saying that, but Jesus Christ, man, we have for the IWGP World Heavyweight Championship, we got Sonata taking on, attempting to make his first defense, by the way, taking on and defeating Hiromu Takahashi. He gets the victory in about 27 and a half minutes right here. They got me a couple times. I was like, is Hiromu about to do this right here? So many good near falls right here, man. Such great max ex execution by these guys. They told an amazing story. Sonata retains his championship. I thought I was kind of, I had my eye on the post-match promo by Sonata. I was wondering if Tetsuya Naito would maybe jump down and try to throw his name in the hat for the challenge. But surprisingly, he did not. Just Five Guys has their celebration. And we get a returning, it was the, the coming soon guy that's been all this advertised on New Japan Pro Wrestling. The guy's been coming soon. Well, we finally know who it is. The wrestler that was coming soon and was going to be back on New Japan soil. The returning young lion himself, Yoda Suji right here, comes down, stakes his challenge for that World Heavyweight Championship belt, even takes out Sonata a little bit, and does the Los Ingobernables de Japón salute? He helps Hiromu in the back, so... I'm kind of intrigued. Are we going to get a new LIJ member? Is he the replacement for Sonata? It looks like that's the case, but all will be more clear here in the future. So that's my New Japan Pro Wrestling Wrestling Dantaku review recap, man. I enjoyed the show. New People keep saying that, oh, New Japan is back. New Japan is back. New Japan is back. If you've been around, New Japan ain't never left, bro. They still been putting out bangers, man. If, if you've seen it, then you know. So, but yeah, I just had to get this review to y'all. So you know who it is, man. Pro Wrestle Fly God, Stardust Shiaku, Blunt Cianido, El Toro Negro, the human LIJ cat, representing SOS Wrestle Talk, man. I'm up out of here. Y'all have a good one, dog. Sayonara. Peace.